How you going guys? Just thought I'd give you a bit of a look at my latest project I've got going on in the shed. So as you can see, it's an old Holden. It's a 1974 HQ Holden. So it's a Premier. It left the shed as a Monterey green car. As you can see, it's definitely not green anymore. So the colour I'm painting it is actually a modified Mercedes-Benz colour with a little bit more violet in it. So it's a very deep red, but there's no orange in it and it doesn't look pink like some of the reds do. So I'll give you a bit of a look underneath the car first. So in the 18 months I've been working on it, I've gone through, I've cleaned all the floor pans off. So they've been undercoated and then sealed in gloss two-pack black. So as you can see, inner seals are all nice. See all the factory folds and everything in the floor pan, all the presses in the floors. So you can see they're all original floors. In the seals all nice, through the passenger side as well. So I was very lucky this car it was quite a clean car when I bought it. So I'll give you a bit of a look at the inside of the floors. So as you can see, there's a little bit of black jack on them. So I've got to clean up the floors a bit after I finish painting the car. Um, but no, as you can see, it's all factory sheet metal. Nothing being touched. The only thing on the inside that's been touched is just a vent here that was previously on LPG. So what we're doing here, we've painted all the inner the door jams and everything, ready to hang the panels on. So it had very little rust originally. Now, a couple of bits that we had to replace was had a little spot of rust just up in this corner, just about here. So we replaced that corner of the cowl. Luckily, the substructure underneath wasn't rusted out. So we'll walk down around here and the other rust that we had to replace. So there was only four parts that we had to actually do patches. was another piece behind the door here. So about three or four inches long, just down behind the door there. It had rusted in the seam. In the dog leg where they all rust, there's about two inches by an inch around there. And down the bottom of the dog leg here, you'll see if you can pick it up through the bottom. So you can see it's all all plated properly. It's not just filled with bog and smeared in or anything like that. All the rust was cut out, new pieces made, welded up. Any dents that were in the car were tapped out to the use of minimal bog on the car. So it's Nice straight original car. You can see that rear quarters nice and straight through there. Top and bottom. So I'll give you a bit of a look underneath from the back. So here's got the diff. So I've cleaned the diff off, painted that all up. It's got a nice tight 308 sensor in it. Underside of the boot here. You can see it's nice and clean. No rust through there. Insides of the rear quarters are nice and clean there. Back through here, all the factory rails, inside of the rear quarter there. So it'll give you a bit of a look on the inside of the boot as well. So I was very lucky with this one, having good floor pans, good boots, straight panels. You can see the rear quarters there, you can see they're nice and straight. Not all creased up or anything like that. Down through the bottom, still got the nice square edge. Down through the bottom of the quarters, on both sides. So the inside of the boot here, I'm actually gonna paint the gloss red like the outside of the car. It's just so you've got a nice bright boot when you open it up. Not just blacked out like the standard ones. Come around, as you can see, nice straight panels. So we've gone through, got it all straight as possible. Good roof as well. There wasn't any, no rust in around the gutters or anything, which is always good. The least amount of work you've got to do in a restoration is what we all want. So it was a factory 308. We're gonna change it over to a small block Chev 350. It's got alloy heads on it and everything else and a turbo 350, just so we can have a bit of fun in it. 
So the next step now is to bolt the rails up and the diff up, get all the suspension back in. We'll drop the motor in before we hang the panels, just to avoid any scratching later on. And then do the final bodywork. Luckily all the panels have already gone through that. So we've got, as you can see, the bonnets over there behind the car. All the bolt-on panels, I've already gone over them. They're nice and straight. I'll show you them in the next video before I go to bolt them on so I can show you the inside of the doors and everything else. So I hope you enjoyed the video, guys. I'll keep you updated on the build of the car and see how she turns out. Should be a nice, clean street cruiser once we're done. Have a good one, guys.